Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Shaking Things Up with me, Mark Addison. Today I'm going to bring a little sparkle to your summer with my trio of summer sparklers. These are perfect to celebrate the red, white, and the blue at your next patriotic party. Or you could celebrate the blue, white, and red if you're French and celebrating Bastille Day. Or just celebrating Bastille Day. It's the colors of the French flag. Anyway. Today I'm going to show you how to create each one of these colorful and effervescent champagne cocktails that have a little bit of whimsy and a whole lot of flavor. And stay tuned to the end because I'm going to share my pro party tip on how you can pre-batch these cocktails and serve a flight of summer sparklers all summer long. So stay tuned. So now it is time to shake a things up. Hey everybody, we're back. We are. We're back after a couple of weeks hiatus because, you know, life happens. But we're definitely on schedule to post a video once a week. So please subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification button down there because you'll get notified every time we post a new video. So who's ready to sparkle? I know I am. Today we're talking about my summer sparklers. And these are champagne cocktails that are perfect to celebrate the red, white, and blue for your patriotic parties or any party all summer long. So first, what is a champagne cocktail? A champagne cocktail is one of the all-time classic cocktails. I love them so much, I dedicated chapter three of my book, Cocktail Chameleon, to them. The basic recipe of a champagne cocktail is very simple. It's a cube of sugar that's doused with three dashes of aromatic bitters and has a half an ounce of cognac and then topped with very cold, crisp, bubbly champagne. And that's it, it's very simple. And my summer sparklers follow the same basic proportions but add a big dose of flavor and a lot of personality. Now, I always say the glassware is the cocktail attire for your cocktail, and our champagne sparklers are no exception. But typically, a champagne cocktail is served in a coupe-style glass, and this has a scooped bowl. It is very elegant. But the champagne industry designed flutes to really highlight the bubbles and the effervescence of the champagne. And these are perfect for our summer sparklers. I also like to serve them each in a different style of champagne glass because each one has a different color, has a different flavor profile, and it has their own personality. All right, so we have all of our ingredients already chilled, and we're going to start with our red sparkler. Now, the red sparkler is colored and flavored with a red simple syrup, and this is a raspberry mint simple syrup. Simple syrup is, that's what it's called, simple. It's a simple combination of sugar and water, and it's heated over the stove so that you're, you're dissolving the sugar in the water so you have a nice syrup. Now, to that, I add the three quarters of a cup of soft raspberries or frozen raspberries and about 10 mint leaves. And I let that steep off the stove for about 20 minutes until it's cooled down to room temperature. I'll strain it with a fine metal sieve into a bottle and place it in the refrigerator. Keeping it in the refrigerator is a great idea because it also keeps it fresh longer. So we're going to start with our red sparkler. Now, I'm also using um, a metal jigger, and I love this OXO jigger. Let's zoom in here so you can see it. So this OXO jigger has uh, both tablespoon and ounces. And what I love about this is it graduates from two ounces all the way down to a quarter of an ounce. And we're using a small amount of our simple syrup in each of the champagne cocktails, so I want a really small, precise measurement. I'll, I'll include the link of, in the description below where you can buy the OXO uh, jiggers. They're really ha help handy to have. <laughs> All right, so let's get started with our red sparkler. Now, our red sparkler has a half of an ounce, which is a small amount when you're measuring, of our raspberry mint simple syrup. Now, to that, we're going to add one ounce of a good quality vodka. And I'm going with all US-made spirits and sparkling wine for these cocktails because we're celebrating the red, white, and blue. And then we're going to top it with about three to four ounces of very cold, dry, sparkling wine or champagne. Uh, you want to make sure you get a nice dry sparkling wine because we're adding sugar and other flavors to it when they hold up to it. So this is our red summer sparkler with the wonderful raspberry and mint smell. Oh, it smells absolutely delicious. I have to taste it. Oh, that's so fruity and refreshing. Wonderful. All right, let's move on to our white summer sparkler. So our white summer sparkler is also made using a simple syrup. 
Now this simple syrup, I've added two tablespoons of lemon juice, as well as two tablespoons of rough chopped fresh ginger. I've let it seep for 20 minutes, down, cool it down to room temperature, and then strain it in a fine metal sieve into your bottle and keep it in the refrigerator. So to make our summer, white summer sparkler, we're going to take a half of an ounce of our white simple syrup. I know you're thinking, that's not white, Mark. Yeah, but it's going to look white when we add all of our ingredients together, and especially next to our other red and our blue. Then we're going to add, again, one ounce of very well-chilled vodka. And we're going to top it with three to four ounces of very cold champagne. Oh, I can smell the ginger rising up off the bubbles. What a great smell. Oh, and the lemon peel. Oh, that's zingy, zingy and refreshing. So there's our white summer sparkler. And see, it looks very white in comparison. We're going to make the blue summer sparkler a little differently. So our blue coloring comes from blue curacao. So we didn't have to make a blue simple syrup. Um, but blue curacao is um, a orange flavored liqueur uh, that is just colored blue with blue food coloring. So we're going to move our glass to the side quickly. So what we're going to do is we are going to, uh, I'm going to show you how to shake this over ice. It's a kind of a small amount and it gets a little monotonous, but I wanted to show you how to do it um, and also emphasize how much easier it is to do with, with all of your cold ingredients. So what I would do is take this and put it into a small bottle, the same size as my other two bottles and I would keep it in the refrigerator as well to keep it nice and cold. So we're going to add one, a half of an ounce of our blue curacao to a little bit of ice in our cocktail chameleon mixing glass, which we have available on our website. I'll put the link below. And then we're going to add, again, one ounce of our good quality vodka. And I'm using Silo vodka today. So Silo is a corn uh, based vodka that's cr distilled right here in the Green Mountains of Vermont. Okay, so I'm going to now shake this. I need a shaking tin. So I'm going to pour the contents of my mixing glass in my shaking tin, tap the glass on the top of the tin, and give it a good shake. So you can give it basically rule of thumb of shaking. It is shaking until the temperature of the tin is very cold. We're going to give it a couple more shakes, and that should do it. All right, so we pour it back into our mixing glass. Could we get to see the bright, beautiful color? That's the fun of using mixing glasses. And then we're going to take it and strain it into our champagne flute. Look at that gorgeous blue color. OK, so this is ready to add our champagne. So we're going to add, again, three to four ounces of very well chilled champagne to our cold blue ingredients. Something in the blue curacao really makes the champagne really bubble. So you want to go slowly so you don't overflow your champagne glass. And here we have our red, white, and blue summer sparklers. Let's taste the blue. Oh, that's stunning. Really delicious. A crisp, light orange flavor. Um, and it doesn't overwhelm the champagne or the vodka. So here we have our summer sparklers in our red, white, and blue. So stay tuned, and I'm going to show you my pro party tip on how you pre-batch the cocktails and have them ready to serve all summer long. Okay, so here is my tip on how to pre-batch the cocktails, as well as serve them in a flight of miniature summer sparklers so your guests can enjoy all three flavors. It's a lot to have three of the full-size summer sparkler cocktails, that's a lot of champagne for one person. So these are four ounce little happy hour glasses. And I love these glasses. I just got them from Baccarat. They're the Harmony pattern and they're a four ounce little tasting glass that they call happy hour glasses. So I love using these because it's a really great idea to give everybody a little taste of each of the different flavors. So my tip is to go, and, uh, go ahead and pre-mix 
all of your ingredients other than the champagne. Well, all the other ingredients really are the blue curacao and the vodka in this case. And what I do is I mix them into small little squeeze bottles. I keep them in the refrigerator so they're really well chilled. And then when it comes time to serve, all I do is add a little bit in each of the glass for each of the flavors. So I have my red raspberry and mint here, and I have my lemon and ginger here. So all you have to do is take your metal jigger and you're going to add a half of an ounce of the pre-mixed cocktail. So this is my ginger and mint, sorry, my ginger and lemon peel with vodka. And then I have my red pre-mixed cocktail, which is the raspberry and mint simple syrup with vodka. Goes into the next glass. And then I have my blue curacao and vodka pre-mixed and that'll go into the last glass. And now, all you have to do is take your well-chilled champagne, and you're going to top each of the glasses off. And this will be just about two and a half to maybe three ounces of champagne. And go slowly, because you don't want to overflow your glass. And it creates the perfect little tasting or a flight of champagne sparklers. So you want to go about three quarters of the way. So this is going to give you about a three ounce pour for each glass. And there we have it. We have our miniature flight of summer sparklers and we have our full size summer sparklers. Can you just imagine these all on a tray together at a party? How fabulous that would look and how fabulous they would taste. So cheers to Memorial Day. Cheers to July 4th. Cheers to Labor Day. Mm. And cheers to Election Day. Go vote. Mm. That's very blue. Ooh, red. Blue. Red. Purple? <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, subscribe and also hit that notification button down there. You'll get a notification every time we post a new video every week. Here's what's next.